Hey guys, Blind Manager here, and we're back with the finale of Let's Play the Bravely Default Demo. In the last episode, we defeated the Minotaur. And did some uh, tweaking of our Norind village. And we have actually maxed out everything in the town. That's it. It's done. And for doing so, we get another reward to carry over into the full game. With that done, now I can purchase the best equipment available to me in this demo, which I will promptly do. Uh, let's see, I believe I've already got all the best weapons. I purposely don't have the strongest attack on Tiz. Got the best shield for him. Don't need a shield for the other characters. Uh, I got the best helmet for everybody. Alright, Mithril Plate. So we will get two of these. And two of these. And that's all I need. So let's go ahead and equip that on everybody. Alright, now let's go get that next quest. Which is actually back where we started. Oh, Lady Vestal, S something terrible has befallen us. Prime Minister, calm down. Tell me what happened. Well, there's an oasis a little to the west, you see, and it has been taken over by an enormous creature. How terrible. What's the situation now? We've managed to secure the city, but without water from the oasis, we won't survive for long. No water? This is serious. Let's not waste any time. We'll have to take care of this ourselves. And now we can refight the mid-bosses should we want to. Oh. I think I still need to actually accept the quest, right? Oh. I guess not. Wait a minute. It never did show me the details. So here we go. I'm not going to read through it. If you really want to read it, you can, uh, you can pause it. Alright, with all that done, we are ready for the final encounter. Make sure I've got my encounter rate off. Good, I do. And this is the oasis right here. I'm going to throw down a save real quick. You know, just in case the worst happens. Is that the beast? It's... it's a dragon! If it attacked the city, there'd be pandemonium. Let's get it! And we have a fight with a ferocious dragon. This guy's really tough, and... He darn well might need to be maxed out in levels to be able to take him on. But, I think I am pretty well prepared to handle it. I'm actually just going to use the same strategy I used before on the last boss. Because it worked so well then. So 
So I'll start out by casting Utsusimi, which may not do a whole lot, but it's nice to have it anyways. Alrighty, let's start defaulting. I should be using my shortcuts. I don't know why I'm not. Alright. I'll just go ahead and uh, start attacking. I don't think Utsusimi is doing me any good, so... We'll skip recasting it. Uh, hey, you know what? I'll summon my... Oh, wait, I can't summon again until I, uh... Street pass, I guess. Oh, well, never mind. I'll just cast it myself. Nice criticals. This is why I like Ninja. Of course, the Red Mage isn't packing a lot of attack power because it's more geared for defense. I guess the Dragon's only going to use Mow Down, which uh, is pretty dangerous for me, but um. That's all right. You know what? I don't need to default or brave with him. Or uh, I don't need to default with him because he's got defense out the wazoo. I do, however, need to throw down a cura, and I think Blizzara is actually his weakness. So we will bust out the Blizzara. See how this works for me. Jesus, damage is insane. He didn't jump. Well, that was uh, a waste. That's one of the things about this game is you can enter commands that you do not have the ability to actually carry out. Time to uh, do that again. Oh, he jumped this time. I do like the way the abilities look in this game. They are very nice looking. Alright, let's default. Default. Uh, default. And that's gonna do it. Ah, oh, jeez. Why did I let him die? Ah, uh, default, default. Raise. <laughs> Dang it! Uh. Yeah, we'll cure up that way, and yeah, this should be good. I might actually end up defeating him on this turn. Speak of the devil. And the only reason Ring-a-Bell died was because of my carelessness. 
Ah, Lady Vestal, I hear you bested that creature at the Oasis. We would have been lost without you, I'm afraid. We owe you a great debt. Well, we can't take all the credit. The people of Ankheim and Kaldisla also played a role. It turns out the world is full of people willing to help out. If we can bring everyone together, nothing will be beyond our reach. Lady Vestal, who are you talking to? Haha, <laughs> never mind. When we can't manage by ourselves, we'll find a way with the help of others. So please, lend us a hand. Particularly if you are of the female persuasion, I promise to treat you well. That's enough, ring a bell. Well, everyone, we hope to see you in the full version. Yeah, we beat it. Well, that was it, folks. If you enjoyed this, then I would encourage you to go out and buy Bravely Default. If if you're in Europe or Australia or Japan, it's already available. If you're in the U.S., you have to wait until February 7th, 2014. See you guys later. Wait a minute. There's a little bit more to do here. So let's uh, get back in this demo. We're not quite done. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is stay at the end. Which I didn't need to do because I guess it healed me already. What is? What is? We actually have one more task to take on. Lady Vestal, I thought you had already left these lands. I'm actually in another spot of trouble here. Would you be willing to aid me? And we have one last quest. You would? Excellent. And this last quest is also just a boss fight. Harder than the dragon. Uh, I'm pretty sure you have to be maxed out to stand a chance against it, but I could be wrong. I'm sure somebody's got some sick strats out there that work really well against this guy. Me, on the other hand, I'm just gonna go powerhouse it. And it's over here at the monolith. Is this where the caravan was attacked? There's nobody here. Word spread around the city like wildfire. I guess everyone's staying clear for now. Huh? There's something buried in the sand. What's that? Be careful, Tiz. I sense a powerful force. Huh? Whoa! And it's time for the showdown with... Automaton! Um... I think he's basically just a souped up version of the dragon, but I'm still going to take it seriously. Um, I am actually going to uh, protect. So we'll get up our defenses. Rocket punch. Yeah, it, it attacks everybody. Oh well. <sighs> default. Uh, default. Yeah, that that will work. That will work nicely. So I'll just default until people are up at three. Like so. And then I will unleash. Man, that is so strong. 
Alrighty. Just attack with the rest of his turns after buffing up everybody else's attack. Um... I think I'm actually gonna take this turn to heal. And screw jumping, let's just go all out with attacks. So I haven't really talked about the hit count, but um, it's basically the same as the hit count from Final Fantasy 1 and 2. Um, it's quite simply an additional hit with your weapon, and you deal additional damage accordingly. after that. Jeez. That was stupidly powerful. Wait. Go ahead and cast catch me again. Uh you go ahead and cure ring a bell. So I don't want to let him die again. And we'll default with him. And we'll just uh, unleash the same attacks that I've been letting out. Um, actually don't need to do anything for him, so I will just attack this turn. We can cure it and then go out on attacks. I think Thunder might be his weakness. I'll try I'll try all three of them, see what does the best. If I had a freelancer, I could find out what his weakness is. Or if I had the ability equipped anyway. So hopefully, the dragon fight and this fight in particular are actually demonstrating how the Brave and Default system actually works. I know the rest of the demo, I kind of just steamrolled it. Dang it! I was really hoping Tiz would go first. That would have made a big difference, but hey, he still killed it. So there we go. That's the final boss of the demo. Defeating him gives us the automaton catalyst and our final bonus to be imported into the full version of the game. And once again, this guy right inside town here will tell you whether or not you've got them all. I did say I would review them. So here we go. For just simply playing the demo, you get two antidotes, two eye drops, two echo herbs. Uh, for restoring Norind Village, you get a bronze bangle, which is actually a piece of equipment I could buy in the demo, so it's not that great of a piece of equipment, but, you know, at the start of the game, I'm sure it'll be pretty good. And two Phoenix Downs, which, you know, they're always valuable. Our mid-boss rewards, we get three potions and, the high, and a high potion for defeating Melusine. For defeating Minotaur, we get a staff and ether. And for defeating the Adamant Shell, we get a rod and ether. Which I suppose will be good for starting White Mage and Black Mage. 
for defeating the dragon, we get a bronze helm and leather armor. Uh, again, these aren't particularly amazing rewards, but I'm sure they'll be pretty good for starting the game. And for defeating the automaton, we'll get a broadsword and a buckler. Again, these are these aren't even the best pieces of equipment that I can get in this demo. They're lower tier equipment. But anyway, wow, you got them all! You guys must be something special. You're more than ready for the full version. And with that, the only thing left is to uh, turn in the quest. Which honestly serves no purpose at this point. But I guess if you still just want to play around with the demo, there's that. It's good to see you back safe, Lady Vestal. I heard the report from the caravan. This is also sure to aid the restoration of the village. You have my eternal gratitude. And we get 8,000 PG for it. And that's it. For real this time. There's nothing left to do in the demo. I've got my seven rewards that I can carry over into the full game. I've got my 20 villagers from Norind that I can carry over into the full game. Actually, I have 21 villagers, but anything over 20 does not get carried over. Uh, the real reason to, to playing this demo is the, the 20 villagers. I'll be honest about it. That's probably the best thing you're getting out of this demo that, that carries over. But uh, I'm going to get back out to the world map because I like the music there. And that's where I'm going to uh, end things off. This has been Let's Play the Bravely Default Demo. And once again, if you liked this series, you should uh, probably go out and buy the game. If not buy the game, at least download the demo yourself and try it out. It is completely free and there are many different ways to play it other than just what I did. I just chose the way that I enjoy the most, which is to maximize my efficiency and steamroll it. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next Let's Play.